Hey, it's got my name on the cover. Can't be that bad. Welcome to Fire and Fury inside the Trump White House. Narrated by me, the original fake Donald Trump. With commentary by me. Author's note. This book is based on interviews with over 200 insiders, okay, including Donald Trump. The first interview was in May 2016 at his home in Beverly Hills, the then-candidate polishing off a pint of haagen vanilla. Because you are what you eat, and like haagen vanilla, Trump is the whitest thing possible with a brand name that was made up just to sound impressive. Hagen Daz, totally fake. Look it up. Everywhere in this story is the president's own constant, tireless, and uncontrolled voice, shared by others, sometimes virtually as he utters it. And that is why there's never been such an open and transparent White House, because the stuff Trump says is so crazy, people tweet it and leak it right away. Chapter 1, Election Day. Kellyanne Conway was convinced they would lose, and she was thrilled. Jared and Ivanka were thrilled. Donald Trump was thrilled he was going to start his own Trump network. He said, I don't think about it as losing because it isn't losing. We've totally won. The Trump calculation was to get all the benefits of almost becoming president without having to change his behavior. He just had to fake his way through and act like he cared, which is what he'd been doing his whole life. Losing would work out for everybody. Everybody thought not only would Trump not be president, he should probably not be. They were not ready to win. They were ready to lose with fire and fury. Roll credits. Especially Melania. She told him after that nude photo leaked, she said, First lady, she wouldn't be able to handle it. He offered her a solemn guarantee there was simply no way he would win. And then, November 8th, 2016, when the unexpected trend Trump might actually win seemed confirmed, Melania was in tears and not of joy. There was, in the space of a little more than an hour, a befuddled Trump, morphing into a disbelieving Trump, and then into a quite horrified Trump. Don Jr. said it looked as if he'd seen a ghost. And if it was a ghost, it must have been like Andrew Jackson, saying, if an uncultured racist slave owner can be president, then so can you. The final transformation. Suddenly, Donald Trump became a man who believed that he deserved to be and was wholly capable of being the president of the United States. Newsroom, it's a newsroom. Listen to the sound of the newsroom. Anything can happen in a newsroom. News, 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 news.